uh, I'm needed and I, I don't see it. Anyway, uh, if someone needs me, uh, just talk in caps on the Twitch chat. This is the only stuff I have uh, <laughs> I, I have open now. So on the Twitch chat, shout please, yeah, shout out loud. So this Sumi is with uh, Sexy playing Undead, um, Big Up playing Orc, surrounded between uh, Sexy and Lightweight playing Human. And Sexy is also surrounded next to Mox Skynet. So Lightweight jo joke that he will uh, suicide uh, Sexy in that game because <laughs> they have a long time uh, yeah, relationship of uh, competition and uh, rivalry. But they are so far away that that might not happen. But we've got a, a very interesting hero choice, Paladin, first for Lightweight. And also a very fast creep here. So he's, got an, he's building up expand very quickly. And we've also got Mog, who's Night Elf, got the building and expand very quickly. So they've both kind of fast expanded. And we've got nice Dark Ranger and um, uh, Headhunters, which is actually one of Lightweight's favorite strategies coming from Big Up. Uh, for, uh, I'm pretty sure Mog is going to win because uh, Big Up is surrounded and uh, Lightweight will not let Sexy win and vice versa. So yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. pretty sure Mog is going to win. But anyway, uh, for... Well, for let's hope we get a good game out of it at least. I hope. For Lightweight, he, he might be uh, playing the HTRT strategy we talked about uh, not long ago, which mm. was uh, Paladin first and then going... Uh, MK, then Panda. Yeah, something like this. Yeah. 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 It's a very effective strategy, especially on this map, because you can get the Pendants of Mana and the Brilliance Aura that you need to, su to support their mana needs. Which is, that's why Silver Pine Forest is such an amazing map, because it gives an opportunity for a lot of creativity when you pick your heroes. But uh, but I I think uh, SGRT when he was doing that, he was playing with uh, Aura. I'm not sure. Uh, I think he went oh. Divine Shield, so it's not exactly the same. Uh, okay. We're gonna we're gonna see how it, how it develops. He plays a uh, rifleman, and usually he's not doing that neither. So it's 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 Mog's interesting. Mog's taking a second expand, so this is gonna be very kind of uh, critical. Yeah, Mog just won FML actually, so he won his first run against DV, which is a uh, very mm. very strong. Uh, face off so he's going to be very strong in that game and since sexy lightweight hates each other so much uh, oh so um, but just sorry you agree just to say that um persuade is saying that play f4 is being attacked really yeah so he's just messaged that play ffa4 is being attacked so probably play ff3 as well i know it was hosted on another bot yeah so play ff4 was the one that was that that's vulnerable to attack All the other bots should be fine. I don't know. I, s I see that the attack seems to have stopped now. Yeah, they, they had a big spike, but I don't know. Maybe they diverted the attack. Uh, yeah. So Sexy's got an expand up now. So every player's got an expand up, except for Big Up, but he's building the expand. So he's a little bit lagging. Mod creeping out the middle quickly to see if he can get the nice item drops. He's going to lose one archer. Oh, no. Ooh, double miss from the drunk. Very, very nice. Yeah, <laughs> because... <laughs> Lucky, but nice. Some very good arc, uh, archer micro there by, by Mog. Really utilizing and keeping them out of the way of the shockwave from the Ogre Master, from the Ogre Lord. We've got Lightweight creeping out another expand over here. And an engagement between Sexy and Mog. Oh, is he going to steal the kill from the Ogre? Burning his mana to see if he can actually... Oh, yes. Lovely play by Sexy. Yeah, Take it's good. the hood of cunning. Well played. He's making a friend already with Mog. <laughs> Beautiful move, though. Very nice play. Yeah, Sexy is trying to find a, a place to expand. Uh, he's trying to get one of the two Orange Camp uh, expansion. Yeah. But they're already taken, so... Uh, he's not going to be able to, to expand cross-map, I, I think. He's just scouted Mog's second expansion, so he's probably going to have, yeah, so he's probably going to play very aggressively towards Mog. He's going to try and probably make temporary peace with Big Up and see if he can actually attack uh, Yellow on the other side to see if he can push him. Yeah. Play for is lagging badly. Uh, yeah, I see that. I, I, I saw that they had a big spike, but it seems to be running okay now from what I see. Only Carter has a very bad ping, but he is from Australia and very free roommates <laughs> who are downloading stuff. So, uh, it's I, anyway, uh, stop downloading porn. oh, one guy dropped. Uh, pff, what can I do? Ooh. 
we had to we, we had to recreate those games on 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 my on on my bots because uh b because uh because of some some players connecting only from robadol.net or eurobattle.net and I couldn't use uh, any partner bots to do that. So that's why uh, since Wafri Arena is down also, it's, it's it's not easy to organize stuff today, but we are we are managing anyway. So whatever happens to this game, I, I'm going to declare someone a winner somehow with the, the guy who finished the game. Uh, <laughs> we, we cannot... Well We'll sort it out though, somehow. Yeah, and and, o and hopefully uh, only people with regular connection to Battle.net will be able so to. So they resume the game now in, in the middle. Yeah, yeah. So an, a rifleman of lightweight being isolated here is probably waiting to pick up a tavern hero, but getting coiled and taken down. It's a very nice play by Sexy. Uh, yeah, you say very nice play, but he's pissing off everybody already. Uh, he, has, he, he has attacked, he, he has killed uh, Mog's uh, ogre, but it's it's obvious that he's going to engage Mog at a point, so that's fine. But, but now, what, is he, what else is he going to do? I mean, he's sandwiched, so he has to engage to get the experience. At least that will give him an opportunity to gain the level he'll need to defend against a 2 Yeah, 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 but with his position and... Uh, so, um... Just, just uh, uh, sorry to interrupt, Ugri. I've just got a message from Persuade saying, tell Ugri play FFA4 crashed and um, Carter can't play on his bot. So just he just wanted to pass you that message. It's crashed? And Carter can't play on, on that bot. Yeah, Carter can play, but I think it's his fault also because he told, uh, he, he told us uh, all his roommates were busy... Uh, with the internet mm -hmm. connection, and, and from what I see, he's the only one with a, with a ridiculous ping at the moment. Right. So, Sexy using his ghouls to creep in the middle, he's got a combination of fiends and guards, but interesting hero choice from Lightweight. He's got an alchemist second, who's almost level two. That's going to be a really interesting interesting combination to see, especially late game if he gets transmute. It's going to yeah. be very difficult to handle. This is a this is HTRT combo. I think he's going to go Panda third. Some nice items in the shop there. Ooh, very nice. He bought the Ancient Django of Endurance, so the Torrent Chieftain's Endurance Aura. Level 4 and level 2. So Sexy's doing very decently in the creeping. But oh, he, he is a good creeper, so I, I hope for yeah. him he, he, he will manage He's to... He's actually ahead in the hero levels now. Yeah, I hope he can get um, he can get this Red Camp and expand there, mm -hmm. because if he cannot do that, he's going to be in trouble. Yeah. Mog sh Mog should really try not to let him. Uh, yeah, he should try and engage him early. Yeah, he, he try, needs. He needs. Utilize the advantage yeah. of not having anyone on the right side. He, he needs not to let him get this expansion because if Sexy gets this expansion, then he's going to be in trouble against him. He needs so a goal big advantage. Up, big up is creeping the last expand, the the last middle creep here, and Sexy's taken the expansion here. Oh, he's playing Dark Ranger first. I didn't pay attention yeah. to him. I'm so focused that, on. That's what that I, I said that he's actually. Um, He's, he's playing one of Lightweight's favorite orc strategies, going Dark Ranger, Torrent Chieftain, and oh, Shadow I, Hunter with he Headhunters. I forgot to put your sound level uh, to a decent level, so people were oh, not hearing you. Yeah, like last time. Ah, okay. So Lovely item there for the Lish. Pendant of Mana, beautiful item. Very nice drop there. And we've got a third K KOTG for, for Mog, who's creeping very close to where Sexy is now. They might engage very soon. And lightweight having a level four and a level two pa panda and sorry pala and alchemist respectively, and we've got a four, one one for dark ranger torrent chieftain and shadow hunter for big up who's lagging a little bit behind in levels. Yeah, he he's, picked he, up a Cadgar's gem of health on the torrent chieftain. That's a beautiful item. He did not uh, really try to to push. Uh... To push his creeping uh, outside of his zone, so that's why he's a little behind. He could take the orange camps of sexy if he knew it was free. Um, why is he killing at hunters? Mm, he's probably trying to make space for the torrents that he's got kind of training here. I love the fact that they, you don't have a full a full house on this map because of the creeps here and here. Their item drops are very very high level. That means they reflect in the shops immediately. That's why in the shops you can actually see they've got Cadgar's Gems of Health, an Unholy Aura, Staff of Silence, already right from the very beginning of the game, which makes the game much more interesting. Mm, Mog is the one who is going to steal Sexy's creep. Mm, definitely. 
Nice creeping here, but he's lagging behind with his Demon Hunter level. He's only still level 3. He's going to catch up level 4, I guess, after those two camps. Maybe. I guess so. Yeah, after those two camps, he's going to be and level 4. Panda 3rd for Lightweight, so that's, that's exactly as you predicted. Yeah, uh, he was talking with HTRT yesterday, which I hope he's going to win his game. Uh... You agree, Jeffrey Grimes is screwed up, Everybody, everyone is lagging, and one player drop. So, Sexy's actually engaging Mog now, and he's actually uh, taking down his, his, his kind of uh, far expand on the right. So he's, he's kind of um, pushing Mog into a fight, really. I, I, I see we're, 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 they're probably going to engage very soon. But Mog's only got four archers, whereas Sexy's got a whole bunch of ghouls and... Th uh, sorry, about eight or nine gargs and three, sp three fiends, so it's going to be a very tough fight for Mog. So Mog is already engaging uh, Sexy, he's trying to save some time before he builds his big army. He's making a lot of epos And Sexy's now. TPing over here in a, in, a, in a main, hidden behind the trees. Oh, so Mog didn't pay Spray. attention? Oh, the panda no, is in I trouble. Don't, I, I yeah. think he was beyond his sight. Yeah, nice play from Sexy, forcing a TP Very now. nice. And yeah. losing the KOTG, yeah? Yep. And he slept the Demon Hunter, so he couldn't staff. Yeah. So very nice play. And Sexy is a very strong UD player. In fact, UD is one of his strongest races, I think. I would say so too. So he's going for Mog's natural expand now. So Mog actually being pushed into a corner. Yeah, Mog is in trouble. Do you know if Sexy went random or chose the undead? I don't remember, actually. But they're both playing their favorite races. So Panda coming in now. Yeah, could be... Uh a very tough it's game from Mog. Sexy is doing exactly what he needs. He's pushing Sexy's early. Sexy is already on 70 food, yeah. whereas Mog is only on 60 food. Pushing so early. He's got, he's got and food advantage. And on, and on tech, he is 2 and 2 on attack and defense on his guards, while the Hippo is only 0 and 1. Uh, he has better heroes. Uh, hmm. mm. you know, he, he took, yeah, he took them one, yeah. one expansion already. Lightweight, what? Mm. No, no, I was just going to say um, Dreadlord being tangled there and being focused down, but Lightweight is really eating up the map. You can see he's got a lot of the map under his coverage there, so he's really in a very advantageous macro position. Pretty much what we saw uh, Mog doing in the MF in the FML Season 18 final, he's just covering the whole map spread. And Blue and actually big up banking and making a big attack against Sexy. This is really bad. He's got lots of Torrens, and Sexy doesn't have a lot of good heavy air. So Sexy's in a lot of trouble now being forced back into his base. Yeah, Sexy is complaining because uh, Big Up is doing some rookie mistake to attack into a surround. Uh, but on Silver Pine, it's not that much of a mistake because if you... It's not, because you yeah. can get an extra free expand and get rid of some of the competition yeah. right from the beginning. So yeah. it's a smart move, I'd say. Yeah, I I in on Silver Pine, if you kill your... If you are surrounded and you kill the guy in the surround, uh, everybody gets uh, a third of the map since it's six players map, so mm. it's not that stupid compared to uh, to, compar to over, over maps. Which, for example, if you do that on deadlock, I it's it's very stupid. But I have to say, the micro sexy is showing is is amazing here. He's sleeping the tor torrents and using his air to focus the casters one by one. Very effective play. Yeah, he needs to heal his uh, DK now because it's very low yeah. and axed. But the thing is... Um, oh, he missed, he missed the stomp. He managed to get a potion of, uh, of elf and to save. Very nice. And, and Shadowhunter goes down. Very, Very nice, nice play. play. Shadowhunter is down. Beautiful play. And now Big Up is going to feel... Sleeping door... Yep. Yeah. Sleeping the attack of, Rangers, yeah. so she can't... La Lightweight can't is... Uh, sorry, Lightweight is moving on... Uh, Lightweight is moving on Big Up. Is Torrent Chieftain going to go down? Ooh. Ooh, he's probably oh, going to... Yeah. Ooh, surviving 60 hit points. Yeah, he's going and to... And now Lightweight is attacking Big Up in yeah. his base. He's, he's going just to, recovered from He's going fight. to go down the Torrent Chieftain. And... And... <laughs> <laughs> Mog is losing his expansion to Sexy now. So uh, what, a, what an action-packed game. Yep. Lots of fighting right from the beginning. And, and, and Big Up is literally huddling in a corner. And he's left. Yeah, he left. So he played a big gamble. And unfortunately, the gamble didn't pay off. So well, he got trapped in a corner. What was bad is that since Mog and uh, Sexy were already at fight, he sort of uh, disregarded the fact that uh, Lightweight uh, would attack him at, at exactly. some point. And exactly. he, he was making an army especially for Orcs. I don't think he expected Lightweight to attack so early though. And that's that's the mistake. But Sexy managed to defend that attack beautifully. And gaining, uh, gaining a level on, his, on a, almost gaining level 5 on his Death Knight. Mox saying we need to team then. 
I don't know why. It's, it's just <laughs> why why do you need to team lightweight already? Well, lightweight's actually in the strongest position right now. His his heroes are the highest level. He's got literally a level five paladin, level four alchemist, and and level three panda. So his hero levels are the highest now. So he is the most dangerous player on the map right now. Sure. And he's got half the map, as 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 uh, Mog is saying. So lightweight looks like the favorite to win so far. Well, when you look the favorite too early, you you usually are not the favorite. So far, yeah. so far. I, I, I add a clause, a caveat to that. So Sexy's still... Oh, Sexy's now starting to kill off some of his gargs. I think he's going to... Yeah, he's bought a shredder and he's probably going to kill off his ghouls. I'm, I'm not he's got sure. no wood as well, so he's in trouble. I'm not sure what Persuade is doing with the bots. He's, he's using my bots now. What, what is he doing? Hides so up. Mog is in the most disadvantageous position. He's got the lowest level heroes of 4-2-2. But his Pandaren, chief, his Pandaren uh, Brewmaster is almost level 3. So that's, that'll help with some level 3 Breath of Fires. Especially against lightweights, kind of uh, lots of small riflemen and casters. It would be very useful to have a level 3 Panda. So Sexy's playing a bit more, more conservatively now. He's not trying to kind of instigate any aggression from either player. But I think he recognizes that Lightweight is going to be a major threat. Yeah, if Lightweight uh, is smart enough, he knows that uh, Sexy is usually using this this moment to go 50 and uh, old gold. Exactly. So uh, he should go on, sex on Sexy right away and then defend against Smog, which is going to, to help him at a point. But. but the only problem with Sexy is he's on 50 food, but he's only got two Acolytes mining. So he's not really using... He, he should kill off another Garg and actually start making a couple more Acolytes because this is all precious time. That he's wasting. This is time that he's not making an army, and he's not pushing. But he's not either. He's not mining gold either. So he, he should try and use this time that he's buying for himself. Three mortars getting caught out of position here. Very bad mistake by lightweight. It's three mortars, free experience. So almost level five and level uh, four on the D Death Knight and Lish respectively. Mog doing some shopping in the middle. Got a large army of hippo hippogriffs and a few chims. So scouting gy gyrocopter being taken down. And we've got Lightweight in a very comfortable position, having full control of four gold mines on the map at the moment. But mining on 77, so he is losing to kind of low upkeep. Sexy's starting to pump some acolytes here now, trying to gain gain advantage of the um of the uh low upkeep of the no upkeep that he's in the moment. You agree, are you still streaming or are you no, on right. desktop? Oh, I am trying to to keep the image on, but uh, I see that there are issues on the last two games. I, I will have to take a decision at one point. Uh, right, right, right. Let me know if you if your image goes down because I don't want to be describing things that will confuse your viewers. I'm I'm trying to 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 get things on on my tablet at the moment. So, uh, one delusion being left there by Mog. He probably should grab it and sell it. So he's actually being aggressive. He's actually leaving Sexy's expand here. Oh, yeah. I'm lagging. Yeah. So he's leaving the expand there, and he's actually going for lightweight here. And now Sexy's positioning himself to attack lightweight from this side. So this is going to be really interesting to see how lightweight counters this two v one. But lightweight really does have the most amazing items on his heroes. He's got pretty much a an. A, a, a um, unholy aura and a brilliance aura and an endurance aura, quickly capturing a garg, taking it down, forcing Sexy to retreat. Nice using, like, a dr yeah, because he invis uh, invisible dragon mm, hawk. Exactly, beautiful play, really and nice. And he's play. going to catch a few a few chimeras. With oh. invisible with invisible hawks, very nice play by lightweight there. Yeah, that's fantastic play. Amazing play, I have to say, I'm very impressed because then he avoids the hippo the hippogriffs. He needs to make some uh, flying sexy machines. Sexy coming so. in now here and quickly trying to make quick work of these towers. Yeah, I, I don't like this kind of game. But we already decide to team up and uh, coordinate attacks after what? Uh, after uh, like 20, 15 minutes, we already it's been decided. 15 minutes. Right. Yeah. So lightweight's in a lot of trouble, but he's managing to 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 maintain his composure. But he's not going to be able to last with this very long. So nice play, catching two gargs in a very awkward position there, and using the the cover of the towers. Yeah. So he's got a very nice AOE combo though, the panda and the 
the alchemist. Very good against kind of light air, like gargs and, and hippogriffs. And it has some sex- style as well. Yeah, and I, exactly. It, it, that's the most important thing. He's trying something fun. He's trying something creative away from the standard combinations that we're seeing Mog and um, Sexy using. So it's really good to see those kind of old tactics being used again. They really bring a lot of kind of freshness to the game. So Sexy attacking this expand now, which is going to be... He's very heavily towered up, so he doesn't want to sacrifice all his mana against it. You agree? Are you okay? You're, you're, you're a little quiet. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to, to check on the run one. Okay, are you, are you happy for me to continue commenting? Sure, then? I'm trying to, okay. to follow the, the action with my uh, mouse. So, so Sexy's actually basically killed the peons here, which is something that Yugri likes to suggest when he does his when he does his cast, when he does his shout cast, is the fact that you might benefit more by killing the peons there and gaining the experience and moving on to the next expand than actually taking the time to kill the building, which I agree with in a lot of cases. So Sexy's doing that, whereas Lightweight is attacking Sexy's expand here and hindering him with three invisible hawks, which is very smart to see if he can catch a couple of chimeras if they come out of place. And it also helps him avoid kind of any hovering hippogriff, uh, hippogriffs if they come and try and attack him. So very, very stylish play here. Pre-buffing all his units before he fights as well. The mark of a good player. So Mog's doing some shopping here. I wonder if he's... I mean, he's got some really nice items, staffs and periaps on all his heroes. But he, he's lacking the auras that some of the other players have. So an engagement here between Lightweight and Sexy. Sexy also having the Endurance aura, but catching a Garg and killing it very quickly and re-invisibling his, uh, his Dragon Hawk. So very nice play. Ooh, Demon, uh, oh, so Death Knight getting caught out of place. Ooh, low, very low hit points. 200, 220, and getting TP'd out just in time. So Se- Sexy taking a lot of damage on his, on his Death Knight. But Mog's actually been very sly and taking big ups old expa- old main gold mine here. So I don't, I'm not sure if either player has actually noticed this yet. But this could this could potentially cost Sexy a major part of the game because if he doesn't realize that Mog's got as many gold mines as Lightweight does, he might get overwhelmed very quickly. And and Lightweight is on 80 food, so he's not not exactly pushing on 100. And he's got six and a half k. Lightweight is on about 80 food as well, but he's he's got 7k. And Sexy is at the biggest disadvantage here. He's got 80 food and 2.2k. So it's going to be interesting to see how Sexy is going to try and make up for this disadvantage. He might probably try some manipulation to see if he can get Lightweight to skirmish against Mog and come in to see if he can steal a few kills with his Lishan and, and Death Knight. But he's doing some shopping here. So picking up some very nice items, including a Cadgar's Gem of Health, an Amulet of Spell Shield, which is really, really useful. Really, really nice item. It can mean the difference between life and death on his on his uh, on his death knight. That extra, that extra kind of uh, breath of fire or that extra kind of um, holy light, it could really mean the difference. So sexy kind of hovering over the Mog's expand. They're about to engage now, but I think Mog's got a lot more anti air units, so Mog might might come out in a stronger position in that fight. Lightweight still biding his time, adding a couple of tanks to his army, still having a couple of dragonhawk riders. He hasn't increased the number there. But he's probably saving them for the worms or just heavy duty. Oh, Dreadlord getting caught. Uh, Dreadlord getting caught out of position here. Very nice play here, injuring three or four of the gargoyles, forcing Sexy to run back. Lightweight playing the very defensive, conservative game. I think all players are being a little bit over cautious of each other. I don't think they want to get into any skirmishes and allow the third player to come and take advantage of that. But they're all slowly, slowly creeping into the. We got Lightweight here, Sexy here, and Mog here. So they're all very close, right to the center tavern. Keeping his dragon hawks invisible and keeping a, gy- a, a gyrocopter for kind of anti anti shade scouting. We've got sexy running around here. Probably going to try and do a little bit more shopping, maybe at this shop to see if he can get some more invuln potions. Yeah, I his, don't. Uh, his heroes are. Oh, are yeah, you sorry. okay? Yeah, sorry. I I'm going to have to go uh, on the desktop and leave the game a little bit. So there's no image. So maybe you stop stop shortcutting a little bit. We are going to go back to the game. I really need to. Uh, to check what's going on because we have been attacked again and we lost. Okay. Two games. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna see if I can if I can actually load the stream myself. It might be a bit laggy, but just in case uh, you've got your viewers watching, what I'll try and do is I'll try and uh, broadcast the actual um, stream myself. So okay. I'll post a link, everyone, on on the main uh, Play FFA website. So if you're interested in watching, then uh, please come and join us. Okay, ju- just one second. It shouldn't be too long, but I need to talk to Persuade. Okay, so do you want to continue streaming then? Uh, yes, if I can. 
Yes, I, I think I think we are going to finish those games and uh, whatever games was left from round one and uh, because I see now the things are still terrible uh, whatever games were left we are going to reschedule them uh, so the, the last two semi-finals, the final and the uh, last game from round one we are going to play them uh, very quick I said one remake if people dropped for like they were finally So sorry for the stream viewers, but we are under attack from a hacker and uh, it's hard to manage. So one second. Fucking hackers. Anyway, I'm working on, on providing a stream just temporarily until Ugri sorts out what's going on in his side. So once I get a link, everyone, I'll try and post it on Ugri's stream site. Okay. Okay, sorry about this everyone. I'm going to try and um, get, post the link on Ugri's uh, thing. Ugri, is there any chance you can ask the sexies game to, to pause while we try and organize? Uh, if, if we pause the game, we are going to... Just, just for a minute. I cannot ask. I cannot talk Okay, to that's her. fine. Don't worry. No, it's not my bot. I cannot talk to her. Well, what I think, uh, what I think is that uh, the tournament will. Uh, there's not much game to be to be played. Ah, oh, yeah, I have the account. Sorry, I'm, I'm sorry about all this. I'm trying to to figure things out. So uh, for the finals, the last semis, we we are probably going to. to reschedule them and finish the tournament later. Can you do me a favor, you agree? Um, I've, I've, got, I, I've put a link for uh, my stream on your site. So can you just let me know if people are joining and commenting while I, while I have the Warcraft game up? Uh, I'm trying to, to send Snake to Kevin. Just one second. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, so I, I'm going to keep watching the game. But I think, I mean, Sexy is actually doing really well. He's c completely destroying Mog's main, uh, Mog's main expand while Lightweight's attacking Mog's other expand. So Mog being forced to stay in his base and losing a lot of his army, actually. Sexy gaining the best levels now. So level five, four, and three. But lightweight doing the best overall in levels. That sucks. Um, all right, I'm going to go back into the game. Uh, and I w I'm going to see the damage of whatever happened on the other game after and I'm going to try to contact uh, the remaining player to organize games uh, during this week uh, sort of FML style with uh, trying to figure out uh, a play time <coughs> if player are fix flexible enough we are going to, to work things out uh, for the first run if someone is too complicated to, to work with we are just going to ch change one or two players I'm uh, sorry, we are, we are doing the best we can with... Uh, do you with want me to, to live stream while you go and try and fix the problem? I mean, we can try that. No, I mean, uh, I'm not going to be able to, to, fix, uh, to fix anything anymore. So what I'm trying to do is to get uh, this game finished, uh, this semi-final. I'm trying to get the other semi-final started, the one with Persuade and Snake. And uh, I'm trying... 
uh, and after I will I will uh, I will see what to do with uh, the last game from round one to make Fine. them play and to find yep. a, a suitable time for the last two semis and the final. Okay, yep, so we, we can go back to, to commenting this game with a uh, lightweight attacking sexy. Oh, you are lagging now. Oh no, I'm back. So lightweight, oh, very nice, kind of going all out against his main. Sexy's got a lot of towers, but he's pretty much got like eight or nine tanks. He's lost almost all of his air. Sexy li literally has two, sorry, one worm and three destroyers and three heroes, whereas lightweight has his full hundred food army. So. Lightweight in a lot of trouble, but Mog's actually using three heroes to harass Lightweight right on the corner. Sexy complaining that this is basically an unbalanced game, but I think Lightweight's done very well to take advantage sexy. Of, the, of, sexy. of the game that he has. Se sexy complaining? No, that's not possible. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I have to say, I've, I've really enjoyed watching Lightweight the way he's played this game. He's Even though he's had a lucky spawn, which there's no doubt about, the, the main thing that I respect about Lightweight's gameplay is the fact that he's actually chosen some very novel hero choices, yeah, which well, I think is very interesting. He, he had lucky spawn, but as lucky as Mog's. Uh, true, the, true. So but I think Mug and, Mog and Sexy got over-involved with each other. But Mog's got a humongous army here, but I don't think he realizes that he's up against eight or nine tanks. Which means yeah. that his army is going to be pretty much flawed and not very useful, especially with with lightweight's items. I mean, he's got he's got an he's got an endurance aura, he's got an he's he, a command aura, unholy aura, brilliance aura, devotion aura. He's got pretty much almost every single aura in the game with inner fire. Amazing, and he's got five five almost five with panda. So if he once he gets that level five with panda, his breath of fire is going to destroy those hippogriffs. Oh, right? more hippogriff. tanks coming. He really needs uh, to finish off sexy because sexy is... I think he does because he, sexy is harassing his base now. Yeah, he's just Definitely. going to piss him off and he has no mass TP uh, with his combo. Yeah. So sexy is going to try and linger like a bad weed basically, but I think lightweight needs to make quick work of him. If he can take out at least all the acolytes, and hinder Sexy. I mean, I wonder how much gold Sexy actually has. Sexy's got 5,000 gold and 2,500 rewards, so he's got enough to rebuild and become annoying. But I, I don't think Mog's army composition is actually going to hold a candle against um, Lightweight's army. And he's, he's be beautifully invis invisibled all his Dragonhawks, just in case Sexy decides to reveal his army composition, which is also a very smart move. So TPing in now, we're likely to see a very big fight. Lovely. Oh, Dragonhawk uh, coming in beautiful position. Is he going to catch those Chimeras out of position? Yeah, lovely. And he's moving in the tanks to protect the Dragonhawks, forcing the Griffs to be drawn in, the, 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 the Hippogriffs to be drawn in against the tanks. Beautiful play. Very this, nice fight there. This is lightweight show, ladies and gentlemen. Lightweight's <laughs> really taking advantage of this fight. He's pretty much destroyed the entire army. He TP'd out with three heroes and a Chimera. Two Chimeras. So I think it's GG. No, no, it's not GG at all. Uh, Sexy is going to spread everywhere and harass and help Mog, and Mog is going is, is richer, so he's going to be able to make more armies. Uh, now, like Wayne only has one expansion with one uh, with, with one prison. So he, if he cannot kill Sexy there fast enough, he's going to to be on the defensive all the time, and he's losing a Ooh, yeah. dragon hawks against yeah. against Harris. There is one way that Sexy ca that Lightweight can GG this now. If he sends all his tanks against Mog to destroy Mog's base now, he can quickly m reduce Mog's ability to produce army, which means he can then start focusing on Sexy. Because Sexy, it's going to be impossible to chase around Sexy with the reduced mobility that he has compared to Sexy. Yeah, just get this, this is Verm. Get the Verm now. Good. Yeah. So this is the point at which you wish you had Archmage and MK, because then Undead's mobility advantage becomes hindered against Bolt and mass TP. So he could actually potentially surround the Death Knight there. I don't know why he's not doing that. He was focused Unlucky. on the Verm, yeah. Unlucky, he, he could have surrounded the Death Knight there. That would have should been annoying. He should send tanks a little bit of everywhere. Yep, he is. He's sending a tank there. And um, I d yeah, he's only sending one tank so far. But I mean, at, at some point, he's going to food block Sexy if he, if, he, if he attacks Sexy enough. But he's actually making lots of ziggurats up there. So it's going to be very trouble to, f to food block him. Sexy being very annoying in his harass, still having three destroyers and three heroes, and Mog's coming in with a large army of Hippogriffs and loads yeah. and loads of Chimeras there. At this point, Sexy is just playing to make, uh, to lightweight, make lightweight lose, lose yeah. Yeah. As it often happens with those two guys, uh, playing to make the other lose.
I'm really rooting for lightweight. I am as well. I, I always root for the player who's being teamed. And he has so been he, ha he has been teamed since the start, uh, actually. Yeah. Can you can you see this lovely tower positioning for for lightweight, making sure that he's got all accesses blocked and trying to minimize mana on all the heroes. So very very nice. And lightweight ignoring Mog and Sexy and just going straight for Sexy's base to see if he can finish him off. But I don't think he realizes that he's got he's got a, a lot of base up there, and he's yeah. got a worm here as well. So. He tried to TP, but he lost the main. So, sexy. I mean, Mog's got a very, very, very. He's putting him in a very tough position because the Chimeras will make will take out a main in two seconds. So he needs to TP in time to stop that. Maybe he can so get Alchemist, he can get the DK down. I will, no, he's too fast. So Alchemist probably should have focused on trying to transmute one of the units there. He probably should transmute a Chimera instead. Oh yes, yes, transmute. So he needs to utilize that as best as he can. Ooh, nice breath of fire coming in there by Panda. Oh, very nice. Nets Dragonhawks in a lovely position, being protected by their tanks. Really, really nice play by Lightweight, forcing forcing Mog to engage against tanks. Again, Mog losing almost to everything. Very nice play there. Oh, he, he lost less that time, uh, to be honest. He still lost almost everything, though. He lost. He lost thirty food. But Sexy is still having a. Uh, uh, four. Wow, gold my throat is getting really dry. Four or five gold mines now. He did not transmute yet, right? Did he? No. I haven't seen a transmute yet. So the the biggest disadvantage lightweight has now is his mobility. He can't just run around the map, and that's why Archmage would have been probably. A GG hero at this point. If he just sends tanks off everywhere and just TPs to each one of those, he can actually potentially destroy Sexy before Mog even remakes an army. Yeah. And that's the disadvantage of this. But I respect the novel hero choices that he's made, and that's why I'm rooting for him to win this game. He Not should... because I particularly like him, but because he's being teamed against, and he's done a very interesting choice of play, which he deserves recognition for. He, he should uh, light uh, the Death Knight as much as possible. Hmm. He's going to get tons of gold, Sexy, if he's not uh, stopped now. Because he has uh, 4 mines and he's 50 food. So he's actually got a breaker harassing here, a breaker harassing there, kind of a, a peon building a tower there. If, if, if he had Archmage, he would have been able to TP to every single one of those. Yeah. So level 7 on the Paladin now, level 6 on the Alchemist, level 6 on the Pandaren Brewmaster. Mog's got a level 5 on the Demon Hunter. Level 4 in the Thunder <coughs> Brewmaster and level 3 in the Keeper of the Grove. And Sexy finally having a level 5 on the Death Knight, level 4, almost level 5 on the Lish, and a level 4 on the Dreadlord. Is so sacrificing his Breaker there, which he probably could micro, because he doesn't need to sacrifice it. It's like each each game Giving I'm watching him level five. of Lightweight, it's everybody, it's everybody versus, lightweight, versus yeah. lightweight. And Lightweight is not actually complaining, he's so used to it. <laughs> but he's actually approaching Sexy's strongest base now and the source of his food really he's got 30 food invested right here with Ziggurat so it's going to be a really annoying kind of problem so Mog is actually clearing out Lightweight's base Lightweight's in a lot of trouble now he's only got one base left yeah. and a very small expand there so if he loses this if he loses this main if Sexy decides to attack through this angle here and kick the main he might be able to kick the main before before Lightweight even TPs, and that means he'll lose his entire base, and it will be GG. Yeah, it's, so it's he needs to be very careful. Sexy is obviously giving the game to Mug now. Yeah, yeah that, that's very clear. But I think Lightweight needs to be very careful about TPing here in time. Because having that many Chimeras means that he could destroy his base in two seconds. It's like many people are giving games to Mug. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. <Well. laughs> But to be fair, Mog is an amazing player, and I I don't I I have I've rarely seen him win a game that he hasn't deserved to win. So he's not a player who's often given the win, but rather one who earns it for himself. It would have been really nice to see Rectify in this mix to see how he does against against this kind of two v oneing. You need to force keep up the Grove almost oh staffed out at the last second. Very nice play there. Tanks doing quick work of all the hippos and the chi chimeras. Sexy just coming in and out and just trying to harass and take out one unit all right, at a time. All right, all right. He forced a TP, so now he needs. Yeah, if he has no Lovely. gold. Yeah, he, he, he needs to maybe have a. I don't know. Is getting caught out of position here? Could he? Ooh. 
Nice amulet of spell shield on the alchemist there, blocking the death coil. V very nice fight from a. Uh, from very nice micro again. from lightweight. Yeah. yeah. Hidden main here, which is upgrading. So sexy's being acting like a bad weed, basically. Yep. Just very Pretty difficult to get rid of. Impossible. Maybe if you had, if you need to transmute those two destroyers. And uh, with a sorceress to to use slow on uh, on on the heroes there and mm. to catch them up because uh, mm, I agree with you. But then he doesn't have a disabling hero. That's the problem. He has uh, he yeah. The he doesn't have ultimate. a root or a bolt or something like that to immobilize his hero. O only the wind panda can disable. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, it's going to be tough to cyclone to 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 to, to do his ultimate and cyclone every single time he wants to disable a hero. Easy win for you, Mark. Then stop. Maybe talk to Lightweight. Try to work something out with him. I don't know. Mm. I just think Sexy's pretty much given up about winning, and he's just pretty much ruining Lightweight's game. Yeah. That's sad. But to be honest, if he fought Mog with Lightweight, then he's got even less of a chance, if you see what I mean. So well, it's better that he teams lightweight than Mog because if he teamed against Mog, then Mog would be finished in two seconds, and that means he's definitely going to lose because he won't be able to hold up against lightweight one on one. What he need to do is uh, nothing actually, trying to to make peace and uh, trying to rebuild in a corner or whatever, and let the other two mm. fight. Yeah, exactly. No, but also trying to pick off the fights instead of just supporting yeah. Mog completely. Because if you just support, but now. Of course, Lightweight is going on to Sexy because Sexy is a source of his uh, of his trouble at the moment. Mog is doing a very nice job of reducing uh, Lightweight's defenses. But I don't think there's any point in doing this. He should have just gone for the main and taken the main out. It would have been so much better. Oh, nice position. Oh, lovely. Catching off all six. Well, six of the nine Chimeras and protecting them with the, with the tanks. Beautiful play there. And even catching the Hippogriffs. Lovely yeah. play, and the panda and the, the mixture of the of Whoa, the acid wow. and, the, and the seven, fire. Level seven alchemist with a new transmute, and nice. There is no not a good coordination between them back. Yeah, he, he, so they're he, not teaming him very well. Yeah, they try, but uh, he's doing a good job to separate them. I think what I think what's what, what's carrying lightweight at the moment is his panda and alchemist. The AOE from the acid and the breath of fire is destroying the hippogriffs before they can even kill the the, the dragon hawks. That are ensnaring the 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 chim the cameras, so beautiful beautiful army composition, lovely positioning of his dragon hawks over the tanks, very very nice offensive but defensive play at the same time from lightweight. Very very entertaining to see. Yeah, now sexy is even making his main uh, next to the engine of uh, of War of, of Marga. Hmm, I can see that. Yeah, but. You see, uh, lightweight not complaining, fi fighting normally, not even chatting. Uh, mm, mm, mm. It reminds me of his game against Yen and uh, Tyran and whatever. It was three v one all game, and uh, but it's nice to see that kind of um, the you know the 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 non bitching whining spirit. The fact that he's accepted there's a two v one, and he's going to do his best against it. Yeah. Instead of sitting there whining, nipping, trying yeah. to get people to give him the win, he's going for the win himself, ah. which is much more admirable. Yeah, uh, uh, even if he loses, even if he loses, he'll be remembered better than winning for Maniping. He's going to lose. Him. It's pretty much his last game. He said after he's going, he was not playing a, uh, a Warcraft three for a while, mm, and uh, he, 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 yeah, he said it was uh, his last game tonight. So uh, he's, he's well, putting on a good show. Oh, even if he reaches the final? No, no, yeah. If he goes to the final, he's going to play the final. Right, I, I was just gonna say that's really pointless if his final game is the semi final. No, 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 no. So, oh, unlucky there, losing a dragon. So, being forced to TP, lots of AOE coming in from, from the undead, forcing him. So, very nice play here, sending off four tanks, which is exact, and, and a copter there, a, a peon there. So, he's trying to spread out, but Mog is really forcing. I mean, he's destroyed all the defenses in his base. He literally has two towers or three towers left, and no, no unit, well, hardly any, hardly any buildings left. In fact, he's food blocked. He's, 90, well, he's, not, he's 96 now. He can't even go 100 food now. I hope he has some peasants somewhere. He, he has an expansion though, so it's not all hopeless. And he's building another one there. Yeah, so he's, uh, he's pretty much 
playing terrific to the, tonight. I mean, uh, he is absolutely, and I, I think his gameplay has been top notch. He's, Panda, he's... very nice breath of fire there, getting caught out, very low hit points. Acid and 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 breath of fire doing a lot of damage against. If he throws another acid bomb, he might be able to kill him before he he's staffed out. He's, no, play, no, he's, he's playing he's against two of the best players around. Who, exactly. are, who are playing a lot of games at the moment uh, compared to him who stopped playing a few weeks ago and he's still managing to still have a chance to win uh, playing mm. just great gold wise is as rich as Mog uh, sexy is, is running on his last thousand gold so he's not that bad do, doing that bad in gold of course he's yeah. in trouble and he's, he's actually hindering sexy which is he even though sexy is growing and, and, and still trying to rebuild he's actually forcing sexy to lose more gold than he's mining so he's doing well at stopping the uh, stopping sexy's kind of uh, regrowth and I i'm doing a little break but if someone could give me information about uh we reosted four games for round one two crashed but i know two did not crash if I could be made aware who won, if there was a HTRT game and a game with uh, Ludix, I would like to know if those games are over or whatever happened with them. So if you could tell me on uh, Twitch chat that I'm checking now, that would be great. Ooh, really bad. He's got a Ziggurat here, two Crypts here, and his last remaining Acolyte is over here. I think so he... Sexy is in a very d dangerous position now. You see now, you need to go. Sexy, you lost. I mean... Uh, So that's going down. He's got a main here. So, but the problem is he's food blocked. Thirty-four out of ten. So he can't make any acolytes, and he's being forced to build a necropolis there. I'm not sure if that's going to build up in time before lightweight scouts. There. I mean, lightweight's got a, a gyrocopter here, looking around for every, for everything. Lovely TP there. Lots of tanks taking out the uh, chimeras. Yeah, but he, came, he didn't manage to, to kill Ooh, any. Nice run on the DH. On the demon and he has nice no, TP, no TP. No TP. Is he going to staff him out? <coughs> Excuse me. Demon Hunter is in a very dodgy position. He needs to be. He needs to get out of there fast. Keep of the Grove getting surrounded. So Panda now he's going to be able to kill the Demon Hunter because he has nothing to stop with. He's hey, coming. Hey, kill it! Panda's kill. Oh, been Panda! Panda has been surrounded. Oh, so oh, he stabs the Panda. <laughs> kill somebody Beautiful now. Beautiful play. Beautiful transmute, play there. Transmute. Transmute. And the Edge died. DH to Sexy or what? Sexy I, kills I, the DH? No, I, th I think Sexy hit him by accident. <laughs> 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 if we're wrong about that, observers, please oh. comment about that on the Twitch channel. Uh, but I, 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 I'm pretty sure none of Lightweight's units were near Sexy. Maybe were near um, uh, Mog when he was running away. And I think it was an accidental hit from the Lich. Maybe it was, but, wow. he, he, he was burning from Brief of Fire. He took damage over time or with uh, maybe <laughs> Acid Bomb. <laughs> Yeah, know. it could have been that. It, no, but he was invulnerable, so it can't have been that. No, it was stopped. Ah, yeah. But maybe... I know, but, I then, know. but then if he got hit with acid, acid bomb, he would have died sooner instead of running around for 10 seconds. Yeah, I don't know what happened. So, Lightweight's Paladin getting caught out in a very bad position. He's level 8, so he should have at least level 1 invulnerability, which is equivalent of 15 seconds. Lish getting caught out in a very poor oh, position. Oh, he killed Ooh, it. What a... Beautiful. What a new Lish going down and as Lish well going down as well. Exchange. Lovely play. What action-packed fighting there right at the last second. That was very exciting to watch. That was amazing. That was such a beautiful fight. Lightweight really showing his skills in micro there. To getting two surrounds on the Demon Hunter, a surround on the Panda as well, but unfortunately losing his Paladin. I'm not sure he has enough gold to staff back, uh, to, 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 to revive the Paladin back. He's got 894, so it's going to cost him almost all the gold he's got left. And he's, he's on 81 food, which is really not wise. He needs to kill off something to, to try and get back to 80 food. Well, he's going 86 food now because he's, some, he's actually restored the Paladin. It, it, Mog's only on 740 food now, so they're all quite poor. He cannot make the leash back uh, sexy. And without the leash... No, he's, he's food blocked. It's going to be much easier for our friend uh, Lightweight. The Necropolis here, that's his only hope of trying to get some extra food. Maybe sexy should build in the back here. To see that's probably more protected and less likely to be scouted out by um by lightweight but he definitely needs to do something to get his lish back his lish is a lot of um aoe oh he's he, he, if he saw the last room of like uh, sexy and boom transmuted some gold uh, boom <laughs> yeah boom <laughs> Oof. 
I wish he had one sorceress to really slow slow the fuck of uh, anybody's heroes because, for example, Mog. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Yes. I, I agree with you entirely. He needs one or two sorceresses, but the only problem with Look that there. Is, is that, the is that they, they get focused so easily. One or two coils and they and they're dead. Yeah, it's it's more about Mog. For example, Mog has no disable at all. And one Big three way fight going there. Yeah. Tanks making quick work of the hippogriffs. I think Mog is being a little bit sloppy with his micro of his of his of his hippogriffs. I think he's letting them. He's letting them fight in the line of the tanks for way too long. Yeah, well, in terms of, of micro, uh, Lightweight and Mog are not the same uh, same level. What is is Lightweight higher in level Oh, one? yeah, yeah, yeah. Lightweight is one of the best micro in, in, in human. Alchemist. Staff this tank, there's a tank, but uh, I couldn't staff it. So Sexy is actually pretty much hovering around aimlessly, just trying, trying to hit the, the injured tank, which is like... It's like trying to catch water in your hands. He's not really doing much at all. He's doing very minimal damage. Tanks are fighting what? the chimeras forward. Very low level hit point chimeras. And he's going for the last horse of the dead there, which is really, really bad. No, if he, get, he, if made, he, he, he made some more, I think. Yeah, he has well, he's, one. Got, he's got a main there and he's got a main build built here, but he doesn't have any level two mains. So hitting that and TPing out was a very strong move for him. But he's low on gold. Mog's got 740 gold. Sexy's actually in the strongest gold position. Well, he's got 600 gold. And Lightweight actually having 340 gold. They are all broke, but they are 2v1 since the 15th minute. But Lightweight minute. has a gold mine, whereas the other two players don't. So Lightweight actually has the advantage there. He actually has an active gold mine at the moment. D just give up, guys. He's going to win Lightweight. He's too strong for you. Oh, Lightweight's got another expand here. So he's got two working expands. Yeah, this one just, just, uh, just came out. He really need to go and protect it from sexy now. I think he's done a phenomenal job of pushing back sexy's harass and Mog's hundred food armies. Yeah, uh, beautiful job by lightweight. Really, very impressive play. Everybody sh should try. To to, win in this game. Yeah, everybody should try to convince lightweight not to stop playing. Oh, uh, one destroy. One destroy. Yeah, love you. one destroy is down from lightweight. And the second destroy uh, is probably. Oh, nearly a surround on the dreadlord. Ooh, ah. so close. If he had slow, it would be better. I'm sorry to keep saying that, but... No, you, you you know what? You you keep saying it, and you're right. If he has one or two sorceresses, maybe he can keep one sorceress invisible by the other sorceress and use it to pop up suddenly to to do the slow. The same way he's doing that for the the um, Dragonhawks. I don't know how you feel about that. Yep. But anyway, he has, he has a strong Paladin, so if, if it's Nuke without the leash, he can still, I think, uh, exactly, sa exactly. save one. So, main being harassed here by five Chimeras and two Hippogriffs, and three heroes, so... He's actually focusing all out on Sexy now, he just wants to take Sexy out. He needs to take Sexy out, because it's too long he to can't take Mogs out. He, yeah. can't, he can't let the leash be revived, absolutely no. not. But Sexy has enough items to sell to, to revive the Lish if he gets a chance to do so. But he has no food. Exactly. He's food blocked. Oh, he's he's well, he's not food blocked. He's 16 out of 20. Yeah, but it's five, uh, it's five food to go uh, for, uh, exactly. for so, the Lish. Exactly. So he's going to have to kill off the Destroyer. But the Destroyer at this point is not much use anyway. I mean, he's, it's not really... It's just, it's just a source of gold for the Alchemist, if anything. So Mog 44 last food coming to Lightweight's and main. So oh. Sexy having one Acolyte and one Ziggurat. His last Acolyte is over here. And I think it's pretty much GG for Sexy. He's just lingering around. Mog actually creating another expand. I doubt Sexy's going to harass that. No. I have to say, I, I, I actually can't believe Lightweight is f pushing back this, um, this really, really hectic 2v1. And he's actually got three gold mines now. Well... Two so, gold mines because he had three there. So Ludix, so they're about to engage now. L Ludix won. Uh, Ludix won game. He, Ludix won his game, and uh, the last game we, which crashed. Uh, uh, there's a one loss. One of a game with HTRT is still going on apparently. Um, HTRT. He was such with a, such a fun fun player oh, to watch play. Yeah, that's what I. The, the only thing I regret. Ooh, very nice. Uh, the only thing I regret about this uh, fucking hacker dropping everything because finally we we get the tournament going but it's exactly that and we see some very some very right. nice kind of retired 
well old old school players coming back to play. Yeah. So drunken, drunk, basically drunken haze, breath of fire, and acid on all these chimeras. These chimeras oh, are going to die. I want so them. Maybe two, maybe two, maybe two. Ooh, is he going to take? Ah, no. Ah, three hit points, and it dies. It dies in his it base. It dies in the base. Yeah, he yeah, wins. So he's got one chimera. And Mug is broken. Twenty-nine. Uh, he cannot. He cannot lose anymore. Lightweight MVP. Wow. He, he, Amazing play. He's even ch he's ch he's the one doing the chasing now, not the other way around. Yeah, I think I think his hero combos were were is actually ridiculously overpowered in this in this situation because of the nature of the units he's fighting. Are most were mostly hippogriffs and and gargoyles initially, and a combination of acid bomb, breath of fire, and drunken haze kills them in two seconds, especially with tanks. It's just ridiculous. It was it was slaughter rather than a battle. Yeah, it's uh. Ziggurat here, he, he, main he, here, he made, Ziggurat there. He made them look like uh, <laughs> newbies, I'm sorry, but it was like, because they, st they started 2v1 uh, after after 15 minutes, so it, it was really from the start, and Mog was well established with expansion. Sexy just took a big hit against the Orc, but he had time to make a new army. He did not do, do that. He, he stayed at 50 instead of going yeah, uh, he, 100 he foot. 